All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. I almost said three there for a second, and I knew that was not the case. All right, off we go. I'm not entirely sure what we want to do next. Maybe we'll focus on a little bit of side quests or something. We'll see. Because I know the really the only time dependent one might have been grabbing Liara, which we have now. Okay, so journal. Um. Oh yeah, we could head back to the Citadel, take care of the Rogue VI. Uh, their bases are located on Han and in Han and Dis systems. Eliminating them. Me, okay. And the news bits. Find the researchers in the Hades Gamma. Okay, so we got two things to do in the Hades Gamma. Uh, Hades Gamma area. So let's uh, let's head over that way. I know sometimes you can survey these planets and land the sea. And you, you get stuff from them. Alright, so where is... There's the Hades Gamma Sector. Message coming in. Patch it through. Patch it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. Okay, so now you want to talk, Nasana. Thank you. Thank you for that. Right, we gotta find this and survey gas gas deposit matriarch writings I don't think we hit this one all right we can land here all right who do we want to bring who do we want to bring um you know what, let's hit Liara and Rex just for a bit. Get some biotic strength in there. Oh shit. Wait, did I accidentally... Oh no, hold on. Okay, they're both here. Rex went gray for a second, and I thought I thought I didn't have him. Okay, um, research base anomaly. This is closer. I hope to God there are no more Thresher Maws. Cause you know, fuck Thresher Maws. <laughs> Giant acid spitting worms that are, oh my god. Okay, so this thing stops on the guns. Two things by it. That's the research base over there near the flag, so let's check out, I guess, this anomaly? Oh, son of a bitch! What did I just say? Oh god! What did I just say about Thresher Mods? Oh god, oh fuck, oh 
fuck, oh fuck. so I can't fire. Hop out. Hop out, you big bastard. Andiamo! that said research or was it another was it another thing that I looked at that said research base it was that okay oh god I hate thresher moths I hate it it was hard enough taking out that one for Grunt in Mass Effect 2. Now I gotta fight one every time I land on a fucking planet. This is the research base, and what's that? This place looks abandoned. Redeploying. Looks abandoned, but that doesn't mean it is. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. Okay. Gun away at least. All right, back in the Mako, we'll drive over. we go. Stay frosty, everybody.
and yeet. Okay, we're good. Are, are we clear? No, we got one more, one more! Whatever alien technology the survey team unearthed must have turned them into mindless fanatics, machine cultists. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. You sure it wasn't that? Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, oh nope, nope. These doors are not locked. And Things can survive a grenade explosion. Just one to the Exogeny server team, or survey team. Liara, get up. We're good. Come on, girl. Ready. Let's check down here, see what's up. Oh, shit. Oh god. So something put them on those. But who the fuck did it? Did they do it to each other? Sludge container? That's disgusting. Is that, uh... Nope. Missing Marines. No, that's a uh, hostile takeover. No, where was... Which one was that? Or did that just disappear? It seems like it just disappeared. Okay, so... We now have to go to the Han system and the Gemini Sigma cluster and the disk system and the hated scan okay so we're here come on Shepard why can't you sprint more than like 10 feet my man's think there's too much left on this planet to deal with if anything there's an anomaly we can check that out and then we'll head over to the uh, disk system what happens if this thing flips over. I 
you could just be screwed. with any of these things? Nope. Right back to the makeup. And off we go. Okay. Since we're dealing with gangsters, let's take the heavies. Alright. Map. Oh, and look at that! Syndicate hideout. There we go. I think it's actually the closest thing to us. Okay, so what does it just automatically flip over? Hold on, there's some ore over here. exactly know what getting metal in this game does, but it's fine. Might as well get it and have it, or not have it and not, and need to get it. <laughs> I just fucked him. And ju just for good measure. I know nobody's in there, but still. Come on, boys. All right, here we are. Kill some mercs. See, they've seen us already. Okay, there's 
There we go. There's two more this way. Just take a grenade to the face. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. going but that's all going to change one down just one more to go oh oh he just collapsed even though I don't think any of us got the actual final shot on him <laughs> like he like he had a heart attack in the middle of the combat Let's move. Anything down here? Is this a drill? What is this? Uh, where the fuck is the door? Is this the door over here? Looks like it. Oh, oh god, I thought that was open. Just lead the way. Alright, now we need to leave, leave and go to the something Sigma star cluster. It's not Hades Sigma, I know. I'm blanking. Uh, what is... Is it a crashed escape pod? It's right over here, too, so we might as well investigate. Unless, of course, that was a bad idea, and we can back up. Hold on. Okay. It just marks it as a symbol to get out no matter what, even though we have completed it. Um, there we go. an escape pod, is it? No. Okay, so that was a lie. Oh. Okay. No sign of any survivor, so what? what's, uh... What's this? An anomaly, but is it is it up there? Come on, come on. It's not gonna work. Solarian. Okay. Up we go. Uh, 
Oh, where was it? Finished the Crime Lords. So, uh, Gemini Sigma Cluster. After Chinese dynasties, okay. And that's how you yeet yourself across the galaxy. Okay, so this must be it. Once again. And then we can use what we've done to go to, uh, go back to the Citadel and talk. Oh my God, it's much darker here. There's the Syndicate hideout. Okay, so that's not gonna be easy to get over, so we'll take the path probably most traveled. Oh lord, that's a hole. That's a hole. Speaking of holes, I'm very surprised they like did so well redoing this. I would have thought something like this would have been rife with uh, map tears. Oh my god. Is that a giant nugget of gold? It is. Here we go. And now we should have an endless supply of credits. Another Solarian. That's not a Solarian, but maybe he's in there. Okay, get get back Just inside. No, get back I'm inside. Here. Stop talking to Garrus and get inside. Oh my god. Okay, so I guess that that proves what it does when it gets flipped over. It just flips. Gods. All 
All right, let's finish him off. me right Still, it's not very organized. I can just run around like it's a Call of Duty match. Both of them are down. Hmm. Okay. Now we go back to the Citadel. We got a few things to turn in, to do. Excuse me, I figure we might as well go straight to the tower to talk to the Admiral. map just before we go yeah nothing really of any uh recourse okay now back to the citadel oh shit did i just hit land no i hit exit you know what might as well explore the rest of this cluster first this already did I? Okay. What is this asteroid? We'll 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 hit it later. We'll hit it in a bit. Come in for landing. Make some reports. Uh, Shepard, what's wrong with your head? Okay. <laughs> It was just like that all of a sudden. The one thing I do like, like really, really like about this game is that I can do this. I, I can actually like exit and stay in the ship while I'm here and exit of my own accord. 
in case I wanted to do something or forget something. But the problem is, is that the cabinet, cabinet, captain's cabin, cabin functions of the other games are not in this one. <laughs> Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Uh, hello, Admiral. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I'll think of it as an opportunity. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hmm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Excuse me, she's not. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. She is, but I, I don't think you should make a habit of thinking that you can do this. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. What did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. Do you read history? Men of limited vision said the same thing about early aircraft, submarines, and tanks. There's two ways I could take that, Commander, but that is true. I suppose the early U-boats weren't much better. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. All right, how many times do I have to say this? Not your call. They're allies. Shut the fuck up, you racist piece of shit. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think the Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Well, thankfully now, I assume that the Council's taxpayer money is what's going into funding and maintaining the Normandy, not, not just the Alliance. Stretching out before you really makes you appreciate the Citadel as a true wonder of proof. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. Oh, the group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. 
yeah, the, the, the no corporation actually gives a shit to help the Krogan. Commander Shepard? Can I help you? Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? All right. What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? No, actually not. They haven't asked me too much of anything. The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Uh, she's fine ship, time to shut up. I mean, she's not asking very specific or gotcha questions, so it's really, like it's the vaguest interview I can ever think of. The Normandy is a triumph of human engineering. Like our development of fighter carriers, it shows other races that we're able to think outside the box. That's gratifying. Many defeatist officers claim that the Alliance can't compete with the naval power of, say, the Turians. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? The crew is still Alliance, and I command the Normandy. I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? He was behind Eden Prime, the Council protected him, the interview's over, cannot confirm or deny. Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... surprising, Commander. The official line says Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. It was. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. You're welcome. Okay. So, I think this is the main elevator here. Yep, to the Presidium. Oh my god, that elevator music. Tally, are the Quarians concerned that the return of the Geth will lead to more anger against your people? The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid properly for our mistake. I hope the other races view matters in the same light. They don't tend to que treat the Quarians too good anyway. And it's not even for the purpose of Geth. Let me see Lounge. Oh yes, that's right. I do have to talk to Nasana. Uh, where is... Where is... Blake. Uh, da -da -da. Go to the. Oh my god, she's not even here. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, let's let's talk to Nasana Dantius, and, and then Admiral Kahoku. I think that's Allow how you say his name. Hello, Nasana. You finally want to talk now? How you doing, Azula? Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. Your name is Azula, but I will take your alias. <laughs> it sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on the cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. Well, that fucking sucks. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. 
Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. So why'd they spare her? Did they figure out she was your sister? Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. You can't negotiate with criminals. It's too late. I transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. Okay, that... that sucks. That's kind of stupid. Why would they put you in jail? You're the victim here. Government representatives on the Citadel are not allowed to negotiate with terrorists. It's too dangerous. Paying a ransom would only encourage more kidnappings. Right. I support the law in theory, but when I got the message, all I could think about was Dahlia's safety. I doubt they would actually send me to prison for what I did, but they would strip me of my post, and Dahlia would still be in the hands of the slavers. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Okay. Anything you can tell me about the Mercs who have your sister? Pretty much what you'd expect. Rough, dangerous, and well-armed. Nothing a Spectre cannot handle, though. Right. Uh, tracking the ransom. How'd you find out who was behind the ransom? I have resources. Contacts and credits can go a long way. Especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already broke the law when I paid the ransom. This couldn't make things any worse. Might make things a little worse. Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a specter. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. Alright. Don't worry. I'll bring your sister back. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. Okay. Uh, and then we'll go talk to the Admiral, but we'll, this is the wrong door. But I do have a keeper to scan. <laughs> um... But we will talk to the Admiral when we uh, return. And I find a transit terminal, obviously. But I thank so much for watching, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I'll be back in a moment.